What is going on, everyone? It is me, Scar the Zombie Monkey. Welcome back to another video here today. And today, we are back on GTA 5. I gotta go all the way over there. I'm just gonna drive out here and then call a cab. I ain't driving that far. Yeah, hey, I need a cab. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Great. What? What'd you say? Hey, you gonna take me out tonight? What'd you say to me? Get the fuck out of the Crap, I just planted so many sticky bombs. I didn't even know I had those in my hand. Cab! Pacific Bluffs. All right, let's hit the road. Come on, get the lead out. Wait, what? Hey, what happened? Come back! No! I swear, I, I didn't press Y or anything. Come back! I need you. No, you stop. Where you headed, homie? Pacific Bluff. There we go. I planted two sticky bombs while trying to beat her up. I didn't even know I had those in my hand. I legit, I had no clue that I had those in my hand. I was like, what? What'd you say to me as I put two sticky bombs on the ground? I should have blew her up. All right, thanks, my dude. A wrap up. That sounds interestante. I know some Spanish. I take Spanish class. I completely botched that sentence, but whatever. I take Spanish class. Karuken! Sorry, I had to. That move is like just so freaking funny. Alright, where am I going? I have a feeling that if this is blocked off, I can't go this way. What does that say? It says to go up. Can I get on top of this? I guess not. Alright, Dan. That's fine. We'll take the stairs. If I can find some. Hmm. Here are some stairs. These go up. Do you guys know that? Do you guys know that stairs go up? You learn something new every day. Should be right there. Hey, there he is. Ah, uh, see? Maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We're like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said. Right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- fucking orthodox! You ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court. 
about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him. Not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. This escalated quickly. You whip the thing. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Boys, the gun down, gentlemen. This definitely escalated quickly. Merryweather, what are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn leg. <laughs> oh, everybody's dying. Bullshit. Oh God. God. This escalated quickly. I thought we just showed up to talk to David. This escalated very quickly. How could this happen? He, he should be dead. I gotta go down here. Hello. Oh, thanks, Dave. Yeah, that helicopter might be a problem. Trevor! Where did you come from? Okay, I'll take it. Thanks, Trevor! Oh, fuck! Hey! If anyone's gonna kill you, old friend, it's gonna be me! Oh! You here to finish the job, T? No, 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 I'm just here for the opportunity! Now run! Trevor, what the clutch? This is the guy who iced Brad, and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in the position to let our only friend in the bureau get killed. You know how much attention you'll get if I go down today. Looks clear. D, make a play for Trevor, that stone what the bitch clutch. by the pool. I'm coming down. Just kill each other already! They're coming up the Mosley building! So tell me, Davy, who are these Bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAEA payroll. I gotta heal. Look out! Up there! I always said I'd check out the court center! I thought you were the corrupt division! Corrupt? Merryweather and war in the USA. Chopper down! I'm holding position, but I don't know how long I can keep it up. What happens to Haynes? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's it. Get out of here alive. You should pop him. I'm a Trevor on that. I'm making my way there. Bend over here and come. Ain't this a bloodbath? Uh-oh. Mike! 
I meant to roll, not that. What? That, that, okay, that's some good information to know, I guess. I believe Trevor saved us. I thought he hated our guts. Come on, it's over here. This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. Mike, before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. So conversate. I'm coming, Trevor. Alright, we're going. Shit, chopper. Are you serious? Eh. I don't have a rocket launcher. That ain't a problem anymore. This is a nice car. Hi, dog! I think I, oh, I think that was a dog. I'm not sure. Alright, we gotta go talk to Trevor. That was the last person I thought would save us, like, for real. I thought Trevor hated Michael. Well, that was fun. I'm here! Are you doing smoking, huh? Come on. No, 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 that's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No. No, no, he's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to. Uh, you know, I've been meaning to. I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I mean, what, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell, and I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, you saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty, depraved history. <laughs> but history... Nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. All right, then. The wrap-up.
All right, what missions are? It looks like Franklin has a mission over there. So let's switch on over to Franklin. What are you doing, Frank? Just on a cruise. Alright, so let's drive to here. Wait, put 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 your helmet on. There you go. Safety first. What the hell? What's up? Hi there. I feel like you were trying to run me over. I feel assaulted. I should call the cops. Nope, wrong turn. <laughs> I was gonna turn into someone's driveway. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> okay, whatever. So I guess it's a go on the uni union un union depository. Cause Trevor's aboard. Franklin's aboard. I think he is. Michael and Lester are definitely aboard. Here. Someone here? Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing? Oh, it's her. Here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You gotta help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Fuck, man, my whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Gotta go save the homie Lamar. Come on, Frank. There's my bike. How'd it get over there? Alright, where are we going? Whoa, that's a far away. Franklin, what's up? Hey man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you like do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay Police Network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give that me a second cool. here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? 
Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. They were getting along, okay. Trevor, like, legit saved Michael. Michael would be dead if it weren't for Trevor, so... That's, that's a thing right there. <gasps> okay! Hello, fellow biker. Oh, that's so kind of a ways. Eh, not too much farther, though. Oh yeah, not that much farther. I thought it was farther than it actually was. Ah! Watch where you're going! Cause that was clearly and obviously all his fault. So! Uh, Telltale Guardians of the Galaxy Episode 2, that is coming out June 6th. So, yeah, exactly a week, I think exactly a week, exactly a week after Episode 5 of The Walking Dead. So, I'll be playing both of those, do not worry. I am hyped for Episode 5. I saw the trailer, it looked awesome. If you haven't seen the trailer, you should watch it. It's on, um... Telltale's YouTube channel, and it's on, um, the Xbox YouTube channel. It's on both of them, so go check that out if you haven't seen it already. It, it's pretty dope. And then I just saw a post on Instagram that Telltale said that episode 2 is going to be out on June 6th, so I don't think there's a trailer out yet. Dang, this may be farther than I thought. Alright, that sounds getting a little bit annoying now. There it is, just up here. Let me just drive down the hill. Or I can't. Screw it, I'm running. It may take a little bit longer to get there, but it doesn't matter. It's just right over here. Either hey, is Trevor's truck. I know he's here. There's Michael. I'm here. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he go. You know, oh, they Trevor got him. I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I guess they're really not getting along. Trevor's just gonna run straight in there. I run towards it. 
Yeah, that'd probably be me. Go to any of the marks. I saw positions. a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. I'm going on the railroad. Okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. Yeah, I'll go to the railroad. Do do I gotta like put up, make a make a place for Franklin too? You said the back side All right, I do. All right, my turn to move. Hey, I got a good advantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I reckon our best shot is coming at him from two different directions. Maybe. I'm, just, I'm gonna put Franklin over there by that bulldozer. Run, Franklin, run! Out of salts. You got a friend of ours. All right, they got taken out. talking about they're all over by Trevor they need a little support here Michael did get in a situation here. Pick your head up. You regret that. I got eyes on I'm Lamar. disappointed in you, Franklin. Hey, Lamar. Oh, that was Lamar, not Franklin. Oh, crazy dude. Hey, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get up. Let's go. Come on, guys. They're here in force. You gotta move. We're going. Whoa, hello. Wait, do you, do you got a gun? Lamar. If we go out this way, Mike will be able to cover us. Oh yeah, he's got one. There's another dude in the bushes. Hey, homie. Here come the rest of the motherfuckers. Oh, Frank's here too. Hey, Frank, you thought he came by himself? Come on, man. I think I broke a rib or something. Let us go. a lot more of them. Cut your losses! Let us go! I'll take Lamar! It's hey, you. I'm pulling out! Alright, you too! Go! Go, 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 go! Let's go, Lamar! We gotta go all the way back there? Okay, yeah. T, call me, dog! I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply. Huh? You're so ugly, motherfucker. Crap, I took a wrong turn. Homie, you tripping. Shit, I homie. You alright? I'm straight, homie. 
Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't feel let a little drive. I'm standing in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Ah, oh, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Sorry, not really. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show, sure? cause I'm sure there's been a few times when No. I'm completely Whoa! Okay. I'm completely a hundred percent sure. Every time, nigga, Shortcut, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot. Since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making a big... Oh! Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Yeah, I just saved you. Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clap. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But stress put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your... Oh, man. Fucking wow. with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I... Shit! I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. That <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Nigga. So I guess, I guess if we learned this, 
Nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga. That's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga. I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man. Uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, playa? Oh, my God. Oh, not them. Friend. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. They want me to kill they Trevor? To do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, oh, flossing ass nigga. They want me to kill Trevor. Wow. All right. So that is going to be. I gotta get my quick save. That is going to be the end of this episode of GTA 5. So, yeah, those guys want me to kill Trevor. Wow. Alright, so hope you guys all enjoyed this video. This has been a pretty eventful episode with that thing that escalated very quickly in the beginning of the episode and then us having to go save Lamar from all those people uh, that were trying to sell drugs and all that stuff. So, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'll leave a like if you guys want more GTA. The more likes we get, I see you, Franklin. I see what you just did there. Leave the more likes we get, the faster I pull up more GTA episodes. And yeah, subscribe, keep a date with all my GTA 5, Injustice, all that kind of stuff. And it's been Scar the Zombie, and I will see you all a little later.